Good evening, good evening. How are we all? Happy New Year to you, because it's the first time you've seen me since uh, 2013, is it not? It is indeed. It is nine o'clock and it is today, the 7th of January 2014. It's gone so quick, hasn't it? And soon it'll be Easter. That'll be fun, because the Easter eggs have been in the shop since, I don't know, September, August last year. <laughs> that'll be the next thing uh, we've got some good stuff coming up over the next 30 minutes we're going to talk about the 11 11 bbc vape meets that are happening this weekend on saturday uh, we've got a little juicy juicy from davy um, talking about a juice i talked about recently that i didn't particularly like but davy does so i gave him the opportunity to rebuke my <laughs> rebuke my little uh, review that i did but all that dear friends is after what i like to call the titles the scene is proudly sponsored by health evade uk purveyor of e-cigarettes and e liquid And good evening. Those were the titles. Yes, you're watching Vapor Scene, and I'm seeing in chat and on our Skype chat that uh, we're having a bit of choppiness going on. So um, I'm just seeing what we can do about that. Um, bear with me while I have a look. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Sutton, who's just typed into our Skype chat. Um, yes, um, it does appear that uh, it could be an issue top end um, because locally my speed is as it always is which is rubbish um, but uh, it looks like it might have settled down okay right let's carry on and uh, and see what happens um, yes this is vapor scene it's tuesday the 7th of january 2014 uh, and it's been a bit strange uh, not being on to be fair uh, it haven't been on since uh, before christmas um, 2013 uh, so uh, it is good to be back uh, under the spotlights again, well, studio lights, I should say. Um, and we're going to kick straight into what is happening um, this weekend. So here's a little trail that uh, Dave Kitson did and he put out on Sunday night. Yes, that is a little trail of what is happening on the 11th of January, which is this Saturday, all across the UK in various parts of the country. Um, we've got Hull, Manchester, 
Birmingham, Nottingham. There's lots and lots of things going on. And if you go to the UK Vapors thread, for instance, you will see a thread there which gives you a link to a little Facebook page. And that Facebook page is this one. And that is linking to all the Facebook um, campaigns that are going on. And you can go and sign up and go to whichever one of those is local to you. And as I said, there are two here that are local to me. Uh, there's Nottingham and there is Manchester. There's also one in Hull. Uh, and they are happening all over the place. So the best thing to do is to go to your preferred forum because it's a POTV as well. I've got uh, threads. All the forums have got threads on this. Um, and there's also some advice from Andy Sutton. And you're not going to see a lot of this because there's a lot of writing. But there's a thread. It's on page three of the UK Vapors um, thread on this. Uh, and that gives you a little bit of advice on what to do if you're taking a camera. And that is to make sure that whoever you point a camera at gives you consent uh, that you can use that footage. Uh, and if anyone is filmed that don't want to be involved in any footage, you need to get them to say to camera, um, I don't want to be involved and say their name. Um, and then if any footage gets sent to Andy from SWAF, um, he can then blur their faces because he'll know what they look like because you've asked them to say they don't want to be involved. Um, so if any footage is going to be sent to Andy, you need to make sure that consent is given or consent is not given, but at least he knows who has consented and who hasn't. Very important because we can't use footage of people who don't want to be used, basically. Um, but the, uh, the campaign is being noticed. Uh, and this was sent in um, via our little Skype chat earlier um, from Davey, uh, and he was passed it by Jeff Caldicott. Uh, and this is on Nikki Sinclair's Twitter. Um, campaigners will hit streets over fight to save electronic cigarettes. Uh, and that is from one of the local papers in the East Midlands. So it is being noticed. Um, so the more noise we make and the more people that attend this Saturday um, will go great guns for the cause. Um, nice and peaceful, lots of vapour, uh, and just tell people what it's all about because there are still loads of people who don't know, and that is the main thing. Uh, and it's a good idea if you can write to your MP or your MEP and let them know where you're going to be. Uh, and of course you can do that by going to the workforyou.com or in fact write to them.com. So tweet, tweet, send emails, get as many people as you can to go down there. I'm not sure which one I'm going to at the moment. I'm either going to go to Manchester, Nottingham or Hull. One of those three. I can't do all three because I can't be in three places, in three different places in the country at the same time. But I'll be at one of those uh, and I'll have my camera and my microphone and I will be making some noise. So uh, yes, all good. Okay, let's move on to the next item and looking at my little sheet over here. Yes, uh, we're going to do the first show of yours of 2014 and I've cut this down a bit. I've taken a lot of the photos out that have already been on uh, and won. Um, so it's a little bit shorter, but I've also given a bit more time for the photos. Um, so here it is and then we'll come back and I'll tell you who's won. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
Show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. So there you go. That was this week's show is yours. Uh, and I found a really old photo. And it, I think this was the very first photo that was sent in for this. And it's been in the folder for absolutely ages. Uh, and I pulled it out. And the winner is it's Simon Hodge, who's vaping in the bath. Now, I'm not sure if it's a good idea or a bad idea. You certainly don't want to drop your uh, ego battery into the bath, but um, Simon, I will email you and tell you how you get hold of 30 mils of juice, courtesy of John over at Flavor Art UK. And of course, if you would like to do the same, send me um, some pictures. It'd be great to get some pictures from this weekend, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. And I'd like to start another little feature. Um, and let's go back to that shot, there we go. Uh, Dazza in chat, who is uh, a colleague of mine from work, um, I cover the north, he covers the south. He sent me an email, uh, no, I spoke to him yesterday and he said uh, he'd spotted a new shop in Birmingham for he covers Birmingham. Uh, and it is, uh, it is this one. It's an e-cig wizard shop um, and it's uh, in uh, Bearwood Road in B66. And he sent me these photos earlier on and it looks like it used to be a pawnbroker's <laughs> by the looks of it. They're still waiting to get the uh, front of the shop done. But he took some nice pictures for me uh, and there you go and there's the two guys who are running the shop so um yes if you spot a new bricks and mortar um let me know send me an email and some pictures if you can to vaporscene at vaportools.tv and i'll do a shout out for the shop and let people know that there's a shop in the area um can't hurt can it uh so there you go right what's next hmm yes i think we'll go into the ads and then uh, when we come back uh, we've got a Juicy Juicy from Davey uh, and we're going to look at Wix and Wire for rebuildables. Hmm. See you in two. Vapocene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.
now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And we are back in the room. Hello. Looking at chat um, as they were playing through there. Seems to be a lot of people going to Birmingham. So um, I will definitely be staying north. <laughs> Give support to see some other ones uh, like Nottingham or Manchester. Like I said, not too sure which one yet. Um, but uh, yes, it looks like there's going to be a lot of people out and about this weekend. So well done. And um, I hope we get some good footage um, for all over the place and we get some decent coverage in the press um, now then I think we'll do the juicy juicy first um, if you remember my last show I did a little juicy juicy on the road in the car type thing um, on Baby Monkey's Spider Venom um, which I kind of loved and hate a bit like Marmite and uh, Davey Malik actually loves this stuff and he said to me I don't believe you don't like it and I said well do me a video so he did, and here it is. Juicy, 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 juicy. Hi guys, wanted to talk to you today about a recent review Marco did about the um, spider venom uh, from Vape Monkey. Now I have a bottle here. Um, there we go, Vape Monkey spider venom. There's the scary picture that, for some reason, scares Marco. I, I don't know why. It's a picture, Marco. That's all it is. Um, now, Marco quite rightly said it's like Marmite. It's you either love it or you hate it. It really is one of those kind of Marmite flavors where you either love it or you hate it. But I'm kind of in between the two. Um, and to me, that's the same with any juice. But Marco wasn't too keen on it. He found it too sweet. It's an interesting one. It's it's nice, but it's a bit sickly. But for me, it's my all-day vape, so I wanted to give you my opinion on it. So I've got it here at the moment on in the Nemesis, uh, an Helios stripper. So I'm going to have a toot on it, and I'll let you know what I think. Now, as you can see, the vapor production is fine. I'm not a, I, I don't care about vapor production. Um, but this is 6040 VGPG, uh, 18 milligram nicotine. Now, the flavour I get, yes, there's a sweetness, but it's more of a, a fruity sweetness. Um, and I get that on the inhale. And then the cinnamon hits the back of the throat, and there's a heat to that. And then on the exhale, I get a kind of, there's the menthol, the coolness. Now, I was lucky enough to try this before it actually came out. And the first time I tried it, I didn't particularly like it, but then I took another go. And this is what amazed me about it. So I'll show you. This time, I get the coolness on the inhale and the cinnamon at the back of the throat. And then the sweet fruit comes on the exhale. Now, the thing with this juice that I find is that every time you try it, you get a different experience. And that's why, for me, it is an all-day vape. But it also points out another thing, which is, I mean, when I first started vaping, um, and I was asking on the forums and on Facebook pages what I should do and what I should try, everyone was saying, try Grant's Vanilla Custard. Everyone was saying that. So I went out and I got some. Uh, and I didn't like it. I bought a 50 milliliter bottle, I didn't like it, so I sold it on. And then the next big thing was the fluid. If you can get some fluid, get some. So I bought five bottles. Um, I used one at Vape Fest. I've given three away, and I've got one more in the garage. Um, so it's nice, but it wasn't for me. This I love, and it shows the diversity of what we all like, whether it's the devices we use or the flavors we use, whatever liquids you want to use, 
everyone has a different opinion on it all and that's something that um, I think we need to make clear to our MPs and MEPs um, especially at the BBC News fake meets that we're doing um, that the whole range of things available is what is making e-cigarettes so successful um, but I digress I didn't want to go into politics this is spider venom from vape monkey you can get it off their website you can also get it from midlands vaping and to me it is an all-day vape and to me vape monkey juices are just the best juices out there so if you get a chance to try some try some thanks very much for watching and back to marco in the studio see you later and thank you very much to davy for um his interpretation of spider venom juice is juice you know at the end of the day we all have different tastes and different likes i didn't particularly like it 100 percent uh, but davy loves it uh, and he's also got some very strange juices from america so you'll be seeing some of davy over the next few weeks with some um, interesting juicy juices i think um, so that will be good and just scanning through chat again lots of chatter um, about their meetings at the weekend um, got some people going a long way as well so well done for that uh, and uh, Pete yes it could be Manchester I'm not exactly sure yet uh, I shall uh, I should be going on to one of the Facebook pages and pressing the join button on one of them over the next couple of days um, and uh, I shall be there hmm so let's move on to my next little item and i think it was the last show that i did uh, and i was talking about wire and resistances and what i thought i'd do because we are getting a lot of new people now is just to do a quick video um, about different wires what their resistances are and also different wick materials um, so uh, i've put this little bit together for you and it's coming up right now I said on a previous show that uh, I would look at some different wires for you uh, and the difference in resistance uh, with those wires and I've got a few examples here uh, of what is available. Um, these two are nickel chromium or nichrome. This one is 0.15 millimeter and this one is 0.212 millimeter. Here we have some canthal uh, and this is 0.2 and this is Canthal 0.28, which is a lot, lot heavier uh, than the 0.15, almost double the gauge, if you like. Uh, and these here are individually prepared resistance, non-resistance, pre-made wires. Uh, and it has non-resistance wire at each end, and then the bit that has the resistance in the middle. Uh, and these are pre-made to 1.8 ohms. These come from Stealth Vape. Um, you can get them from uh, other vendors as well and I did buy some from the place that uh, purports to be fast but is in fact quite slow if you take my meaning um, but these are very good for things like the Magoo, Ithaca um, for single coil or the dual coil uh, and in fact any other device that you want to re-wick or recoil um, because this is preset at 1.8 ohms um, the difference in resistance is quite startling really the, the 0.15 millimeter has a resistance of 61.1 ohms per meter around about if you use a three centimeter piece of this wire then it should have a resistance of 1.8 ohms um, obviously if you use less then the resistance will increase or decrease depending on the gauge of the wire the 2.12 has a resistance of approximately 30.6 ohms per meter. So a three centimeter piece of this will have a resistance of around about 0.92. So you're looking at sub ohm. Um, so 0.92 of an ohm. So if you want to make a low resistance coil, use a heavier gauge. The canthal um, is a little bit different. The canthal can can uh, resist a higher temperature and canthal A1 can go up to around about 1400 degrees which is 2600 degrees Fahrenheit um, 
and both of these are A1. The difference is that this is point 2 and this is point 28. The point 2 has a resistance of approximately 44 ohms per meter. Um, so a three centimeter piece of that will be about 1.3 ohms. Uh, and the point to eight, and this is where it gets quite fun because the point to eight is very heavy, um, but it's only got a resistance of about 22.6 ohms per meter. So you can use more of this and make the nano coils uh, and the micro coils by using six, seven, eight, centimeters of this uh, and making really really small coils uh, this is really really good on things like the protank or the protank 2 uh, i've even made a, a micro coil on an evod uh, which is quite good um, and i used about nine centimeters of that and we can look at nano coils um, at a later date i think might be a good idea um, the other thing that you can get is ribbon uh, and this is some ribbon wire uh, and it comes in a little kit um, from Midlands Vaping. I'll put it back in the bag. It comes with some 3mm wicking as well uh, and it's uh, called Monster Vape. Now Davey is going to do a little video on this for next week's show uh, and he'll show you how this can be used. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll leave that for this week. Uh, so Davey will do a little video on that for next week. The other thing that you're going to need with your coils, obviously, uh, is some wicking. And it comes in various different sizes. Uh, this is 2 mil silica wick. Um, there is 1.5, 1.2, and even 1 mil. So depending on what you're actually building, if you were going to be doing something with a micro coil, you're going to need something quite thin, um, like a one mil. Um, and then of course you have stainless steel mesh. And this is a little piece of stainless steel mesh cut from a bigger sheet, um, which is here. And I've actually got these in, they came in A3 sheets. Um, you can get this from places like the, uh, the mesh company in Warrington. Um, they also now do wires. Uh, and in fact, I got this I've got these also from uh, the mesh company. It's got, got the mesh and wire company now, um, which you can use. Um, but then there's also good old fashioned cotton wool. And Dave Dawn has made some cotton wool wicks um, in the past. And I've made some for the Pro Tank as well with the micro coil using the 0.28 mil canthal. And it, it works really well. Um, and it simply is just a case of, of tweezing some out um, and making yourself a piece of wick. Now, you could say that there may be some elements in here that you, you wouldn't want to inhale. Um, the same could be said for silica and the same could be said for fiberglass wicks. Um, so if you are bothered about that, then there are plenty of unbleached cotton items available um, for you to make wicks with. You see I'm just teasing out here um, and rolling between my fingers and it's so easy to, to make a wick out of that. You just roll it and just pull it and roll it. Uh, exactly how you make thread, strangely enough, going back to my school days uh, when we went to uh, the good old industrial museum in Bradford. <laughs> um, so yeah, there you go. Just tease it and pull it and eventually you will get yourself um, a piece of wicking to the right size uh, and of course cotton wool in this format uh, is cheap as chips so that's how easy it is to make a little cotton wick so that's a quick overview of four different types of wire and some wicking and what I'll do going forward is I'll do a few more videos and we'll make some normal coils and we'll also make some micro or nano coils using the different wires um, and on different devices. So there you go, that's kind of part one. Back to the studio. And there you go, a lot of information in a short amount of time there. 
with the, the different resistances of the different wires and such. Um, but once you start understanding the resistance of a particular length of wire, um, you can have some cut ready-made. Uh, I've got a little bag with some stainless steel meshing and some um, wicksing and some bits of wire of different lengths and different resistances. And I know that I can just make a coil really quickly and it should be, you know, 1.4, 1.6 ohms, whatever. Um, so we'll make some uh, make some calls going forward over the next few weeks uh, and uh, that might help some of the newer people who are getting into rebuildables uh, who are getting into vaping as well and hopefully we can show some more people this weekend what vaping is all about uh, and I'm over time I'm just checking on another screen there yes I'm over time so uh, I'm going to close it for tonight don't forget that tomorrow night it's team talk uh, and on Thursday, it's VT Talk. So not VT, to, VT Talk tomorrow night, it's Team Talk tomorrow night and VT Talk on Thursday. Dave is back on Sunday with Dave's Tackle Box. Dave Dawn is back on Monday with the Haze Hour. I'm back next Tuesday. And don't forget, there is RY4 Radio every night of the week. Um, link you can always find in the forums. And on our forum, and before I go, our forum has been updated uh, this week so there's lots of stuff going on in there so please go in and have a look uh, and uh, make some posts and read all about the different shows and you can comment and do lots of different things so that is it for this week where are my credits there they are <laughs> i will see some of you on saturday uh, and i'll see the rest of you next week on tuesday show ta-ta for now Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.